This video is sponsored by Squarespace. This is the XP Pen Artist 22 second generation. This is the new 2021 version of their larger budget friendly pen displays. And today we're checking it out. I'm Brad Colbo. I review tech for creative professionals. This is a pen display. It looks like a full computer or a tablet, but it's not. It's a monitor that connects to your computer. What makes these monitors special is that you can draw on the screen using the included pen. Over on my website, I rank all of these things that I review. So if you wanna check out to see where this is on the list or some of the other things that it competes directly with and see the pros and the cons, head over to brad.site and check it out. And with that said, let's see what's in the box. Of course, the biggest thing in the box is the display itself, and it has a stand. It's already attached to the back. We have a power block and the power cord for it. This isn't really portable, I should point out. It does require power to work. There's no battery in this thing. There are also the connector cables that you're going to need. There's two ways to connect it. The first is the included HDMI and USB type A cable, or you can use the USB-C cable if you have a newer computer that supports that kind of connection. We have the pen. It also comes in this circular holder. And if you open up the back of that, you're gonna find some of the extra pen nibs that this also comes with. We've got an instruction booklet, a cleaning cloth, and oh yeah, a drawing glove. With that out of the way, let's break down the specs. So this is a 22 inch display. It is full HD, 1920 by 1080. It has a 90% Adobe RGB color range, which is solid. It looks good. It also has a matte finish on the screen. It's like a, a matte coating over it. It feels good to draw on. It's a nice texture that gives you some pen control and cuts down on some light glare because when you're tilting this down at an angle, you are going to get some of the ceiling lights reflecting down on this. This is also a laminated display. What does that mean? That reduces the amount of space between the glass up here and the screen below that glass. There's no real gap there anymore. That gives you more accuracy. It also cuts down on parallax, which is where you're pen tip hits and where you see the cursor underneath it. This has become a pretty standard thing to see in pretty much any pen display now. The only ones that don't have this surprisingly are Wacom's lower end pen displays. The pen itself is battery free. We've got 8,128 levels of pressure sensitivity on this thing and 60 degrees of tilt. It has two buttons along the side. I always forget to mention those buttons. I personally don't use them very much, but if you're one of those people who does rely on those, they're here. One of the things that keeps this in the budget range is that there are no shortcut keys along the side of this one. So you can set your keyboard off to the side or get one of those fancy pants shortcut remotes that I like to use. Although in this case, I, I did wind up using the keyboard on my laptop and worked pretty well. The build and the experience that I had with this was pretty much exactly what I expected. I've used a lot of XP pen products over the years and they've gotten better and better over time. And what we're seeing here is a budget price display. So it doesn't have a lot of the bells and the whistles, but it's pretty good for what it is. If you want to adjust the colors or the contrast or anything like that, there are some buttons along the top next to the power button that allow you to jump in and fiddle with the settings a little bit. Another nice inclusion that we've seen with most of XP Pen's displays over the years is the inclusion of the stand. It already comes attached. You can set it at pretty much any angle, but at all the comfortable drawing angles that I like to use it in, it works great. This is a big display, so there are some pros and cons to that. The the big pro is obviously that it's large. So if you have your drawing program like set up in there, it's really easy to take that pen and tap on all those little interface elements. Also, it works as a monitor, so you can take it and you can prop it up at that 90 degree angle and you're gonna be able to set it up and use it that way when you're not drawing on it. The only con here is that a lot of these displays, including XP Pen's higher end 24 Pro display, are going with higher resolutions. And when you get a very high or a very large screen with only an HD resolution and you're hovering over it like you are when you're drawing, you are gonna see the pixels. It's not gonna feel as premium as what you might be used to seeing on an iPad or your phone or other devices that you're using. I pulled up my Squarespace portfolio website on this display. 
looks pretty nice. They're today's sponsor. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. I keep finding new features every time I look under the hood. There's an entire section that lets you add online booking and scheduling for your classes or sessions. It integrates right into Squarespace's websites. Client can easily see your availability and reschedule if they need to, taking the hassle out of coordinating calendars. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash brag colbo to save 10 percent on your first purchase of a website or domain let's see how this pen performs overall i'm really happy with it it's exactly what i expected from xp pen which is pretty good so we've got some really great pressure going on here we got really good lines um, the pressure controls well around curves the initial activation rate is really low, which is really a good thing, so you don't have to press super hard to get the pen to activate. The one thing I do notice on some of the strokes, and you can see it in places like right here, is that on these faster strokes, um, sometimes we get a little bit of an odd taper, but that's nothing huge, not a, not a big problem, just a little bit of something that I'm seeing on the pen. The other thing I like to take a look at are how my slow diagonal lines work, and do I get any wobble? Now, I'm drawing this by hand, so my hand is gonna wobble a little bit, but I can tell when I'm getting computerized wobble and when it's my hand, and overall this looks pretty good. Let me grab my straight edge ruler here, and uh, I do this not to get a straight line, but just to see how straight the line is when I'm drawing. And I bet I get a little bit of wave, but overall I think it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, I see a little bit of wave in there, but overall I think this pen is very, very good, and it's performing exactly how I expect N XP Pen's devices to perform. Pros and cons, well the pros here is it's a really good price for what it is. Drawing is good, build quality is good, the screen is good, but the most important thing you need in a pen display and what you need it to do well is you need to draw with it. It has to feel good to draw on and it checks all of those boxes here. It does those things well. In the cons category, there's not really a lot. I can easily jump in here and nitpick and say, hey, this, this monitor isn't high res enough. Hey, there's not shortcut buttons. Hey, it's not the best drawing experience in the world. But when you actually stop and you look at the price and then you compare it to say, hey, a Wacom tablet, which is maybe, I don't know, from a drawing experience, 10, 20% better, but is gonna cost you like two, three, four times more, you know, when you start considering those factors, the price that you're paying for the quality that you're getting, this is gonna be a good upgrade if you're using a smaller tablet and you've always wanted something larger. Or if you're using a tablet without a screen and you wanna to go to something like this, this is a really pri good price point to enter in at. So that is the XP Pen Artist 22 second generation. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.